In the previous video, we had our O3 Elevations 2D house drawing open, which we have in this video as well. We're staying in the same drawing, as I mentioned in the previous video, and saving it as we go through step by step through each video in this chapter. Now, in the previous video, we set up some of our elevations layers that we're going to use with things like text, hatching, annotation, and so on. Now, all of these layers we're going to build up as we go through the course, obviously, but we're going to apply some of these elevation layers now in our drawing. Now, you'll remember in the previous video, what I did do was apply the walls layer here. So this is now on Elev 2D walls. If I go and look at the walls over here, they're on the Plan 2D walls, where I've renamed the layers in the previous video. Now, if you want to, we're not going to work on the plan at the moment, so you might want to just pan and zoom in on your elevation. Now, you'll notice here, if I hover over the slab lines, they're still on plan 2D slab, and we need to apply that new layer. Now, one of the things we should always do is work with a good current layer as well. So I'm gonna go into my layer pull down up here, and I'm gonna select elevation 2D slab to make sure that that's the current layer. So if I need to add anything to that slab, I know that I'm drawing it on the correct layer. Now these little workflows and processes save a huge amount of time later. Always make sure you just have a quick glance up at your layers panel in the home tab and make sure that you're in the right layer. You're using the right layer to draw with. Now there's a really neat feature in AutoCAD 2018 that we're using at the moment. If I jump up here to the quick access toolbar, what I can do is I can add layer to the quick access toolbar like that and there's my layers there. So what I can do now is if I go into a different tab, for example, say annotate, you can see there that I can still check my layer. It's very useful, just a little quick tip and trick there for you. We don't need to worry about it right now because I need to be back in the home tab anyway, but you can see that that little just workflow process change means that I can always check which layer I'm using. So now we just need to make sure that these elements are applying the appropriate layer, which they're not right now, but what I can do is I can isolate things as well. I can hide things, isolate things, so that I don't actually affect any other layers in the drawing. Now, there aren't many elements in the drawing. This is a little workflow process thing that I want to show you. So if I now select these three here that I don't want in the drawing right now. Now, you may have a much busier drawing than me. This is a very simple example. But if I now right click on the shortcut menu, I can go to isolate and I can hide the objects that I've got selected. Boom, they've gone. Now, I haven't deleted them, I've just hidden them. So what I can quickly do now is a window selection here, and I don't click on the walls, like so. They're on plan 2D slab, so they need to become elevation 2D slab. Now I can do that there, or I could do it up on the quick access toolbar. Elevation 2D slab, thank you very much, hit escape. Now, how do I bring those walls back? Very simple, I right click, isolate and end the object isolation and there's my walls back and my walls are now on the lf 2d walls and my slab should be on the lf 2d slab i'll just hover over that correctly and there we go lf 2d slab sometimes be aware of that if you move that crosshair ever so slightly that little tool tip disappears like that so just get it dead on the line make sure it highlights and you can see it nice and neatly there lf 2d slab so now we've applied our elevation layers to the elements that we want to use in this particular elevation view in our AutoCAD drawing. 